challenge the guys to be better in the second half? What was, yeah. what was the urgency of your message there at that time? I wasn't so I wasn't so much a, a challenge. I think you, know, you can see it up here. I had this is my X's and O's right here. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, you know, just more or less just knowing um, kind of how the defense was playing us and then also uh, defensively what we were doing. I feel like we were pretty solid. It's just, uh, you know, making it a little bit more difficult, um, you know, in the second half. But offensively, I felt like they were trying to take the ball out of my hands um, or at least be up to touch and um, just the reads off of that. And then you saw the opportunities open up in the second half as we were just being more active off the ball, um, you know, just telling these guys as consistent as possible. You don't have to touch the basketball every single play down to be effective. You know, you can be effective doing the little things, and um, that's what we did in the second half. Defensively, was there an adjustment from coach, or was it just better energy in the second half? Just better energy. Um, I think our matchups um, pretty much were the same, but uh, we just made a few adjustments. Uh, Mark obviously was popping back, getting some shots. Um, his post-ups, we really put emphasis on getting the ball out of the He did a great job of just making us um, be in rotation, and he does a great job of passing out of it. He's one of the best passes that we've ever seen, as well as taking some tough shots. So um, we just want to stay aggressive on him, you know, be be there on his catch, and as well as be on his turns. So every time he was turning, a few times Mark has gotten there. I, I got a foul call. I felt like I got on the ball, but um, you know, just him turning to to uh, Bobby. You guys got more active in your hands. Well, yeah, I mean it's a physical game, so um, you know, just got to play for it. Or is it a little frustrating or maddening when you can play such two completely different halves and show so much energy in the second half and just and play so well? No, I don't think it's maddening. I, I just think that um, there's still so much just to learn. You know, just like there's a better in ball club down in that other, other room. So when they put you in positions and they make you think, then it, it becomes outside of the reads that we've worked on. So it's, you know, it's, it's almost like, it's instinctual basketball at that point. So I'm coming off and I'm getting doubled. Our guys are staying on two and I pass back. They're playing four on three on the backside. So, I, you know, I'm like, I would love that, you know, because at that point then some guys like trying to keep up with two guys on the back end and now there are other opportunities for us to space. So, um, you know, just learning that and just being able to trust that and do it every single time and not just um, do it out of convenience. You know, we, I think we have 14 points in the middle of the third in the paint and we end it with 36. It just shows you the sense of urgency that when you when you have the game on the line, you're trying to win back, then you take the obvious twos. You don't take the shots that out of convenience. You take the ones that you know for sure you're going to get. You're aggressive to the basket. You stop the clock. Just little things like that. That's game management and just getting better as a team. And the penetration opened up the Well, yeah. I mean, that's where it starts, though. you got to get to the rim in order to create that collapse. So if you don't, you stay on the perimeter, then you're right in the defense's hands. Most teams, like I said, Previously switch, so they're trying to keep us out of the paint. But if we allow that to happen, and we just take tough twos, tough threes, then you know we're playing right in their hands. So you know, once we get aggressive, we just use our athleticism to our best. We're, we're pretty hard to stop. You guys were kind of the comeback kings last year, but that hasn't been there as much this year. Is there something from today that you can kind of lean on? Uh, just our poise. You know, obviously, you know, I don't want to get a tech, but um, <laughs> you know, I think that. Uh, just playing the game out just for the full 48 minutes. I don't think that we ever got rattled you know, today in, in terms of whatever the score may be, uh, may have been. Um, and also communicating with these guys how great it is to get a road win. Obviously, you don't want to come back to 19 down, but it's hard to win on the road. Like in the NBA, you know, these guys are going home, doing their routine, seeing their families, kissing their babies, and coming in and playing the game they love. And we're on, you know, in Memphis, in the hotel, you know, Bill Street right down the street, great culture. But now coming out here, we got to compete. You know, we're away from home, so. It's just a professionalism standpoint as well as a majority. Thanks.